Now, what about if we now have a dissolved solid? Okay, so salt, say, will dissolve in water. So how do we separate those two? Well, evaporation is the most common. So all we do is just evaporate the liquid from the solid and then you're left with the solid, okay? And that's how we get salt, um, like table salt from the sea. We just take seawater, evaporate all the water and you're left with salt. So energy is used to heat the water and evaporate it. So heat, light, those kind of things are used to evaporate the water. So the dissolved solid crystallizes when there is no more water. And that's the property that we want. It crystallizes when there's no water. Okay. Um, that's essentially the property we're looking for here. So the process is contingent on the solid having a much higher boiling point than water. Okay. So the property we're exploiting here is that the solid the solid that's dissolved has a, like a really high boiling point compared to the liquid that it's dissolved in. So for instance, salt may have a boiling point of you know, several thousand degrees Celsius, whereas water is 100 degrees Celsius. So you can see there's a big difference, and that's what we're using to our advantage here. We're saying that, well, because we can't boil this solid, we can, get, we can boil this water and it will go away. And so what will be left over is just solid um, salt. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do here. And it's used, as I mentioned, in the production of table salt. So seawater is evaporated, leaving the salt behind. So here's a typical salt sort of uh, salt factory. You just leave out seawater in some open tanks and let the water evaporate. 